Well, good morning. It's a nice chilly morning here again, half past five in the morning. So we've got a little while we can get through this nonsense that is the um, BBJ. Uh, well, Foodie's attempt at leaving YouTube whilst referencing herself as Foodie Beauty YouTube on TikTok. The migration, it's not going so well. Here we've got parts three to seven. Uh, I think there's a bit of fake crying in this one. And yes, there is the um, laying down, eating and spilling food everywhere. But I think we'll leave that for another time. It's too good. It's too good for half past five in the morning. Ugh. It would take, depending with the layover time, to come to Kuwait and to be to live here in this apartment. It's uh, a smaller place. So I thought that Hello. my cat Sam would be happier with someone else. And BBJ, I wasn't too sure. She's had a lot of health problems. She just, I could tell she's been declining. I've lived with her for 20 years. She's so full of it. She's been declining because you haven't kept up with her health issues. Um, this is, it's like the whole ha 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 dirt nap time and euthanasia bees. Like, it's like none of that happened. Uh, <laughs> She's got some nerve, and she why is she drawing attention to this? If she wants a different platform and a different audience, yeah, she's getting called out. I mean, the TikTok folks, they're, they're, they're even more brutal than YouTube, I think. Um, and it's got, I mean, TikTok, the audience is kids, isn't it? It's young teens. Are they really going to be interested in this nonsense? Probably not. Well, not now, not now. Um, I suspected she had arthritis because she did limp a little bit. Um, part of that, her claws. As uh, she did limp a little bit. You thought she had arthritis. So um, why didn't she go to the vet? Vegan for life. God, a good, what, a year and a half, two years ago? Gave you money to take the cats to the vet. You never paid that money back. You never took the, the vets. The vets to the cats. The cats to the vets. Um, I think it was low-life Roman L. Roman who encouraged you, in the end, to take the cats to the vet. And then you were supposed to go back the following month and deal with BBJ's claws again. Well over a year ago. Just behave. Before you went to QA, you were saying, yes, I'm going to get the vet's appointment for the cats. Yes, I'm going to get some a vet a mobile vet to come round to the house. None of that happened. Just because you went to QA and didn't bother to take the cat to the vet, just because you didn't bother to give Pete's money to get the cat to the vet or a mobile vet round, Pete's is just as bad. I don't know why he's being given a free pass. I really don't. But anyway, here she is rewriting the history of it all. And it failed. Big time. As I read... Older animals, their claws actually grow a lot longer because they don't scratch. She stopped scratching. Um, my other cat, Sam, his claws were fine. I'm able to trim his claws. He's very calm. But with BBJ, um, what happened was this bully reached out to me offering to take oh my God. BBJ, and I refused. I'm not going to give somebody who's been bullying me for years my pet to take care of. No, you would rather the cat suffer or take a dirt nap. We remember it. French fried girl, this bully, uh, French fried girl actually offered you three grand and a non-disclosure so that she wouldn't mention the cat. So what, what, what about that? Um, mind you, she did have two pets of her own that she ended oh, up having to euthanize. She was villainizing me for wanting to take the, to take BBJ to the vet for a consultation on possible end of life, uh, consultation depending on her well-being, because it's about her quality of life at this point, what kind of ailments she has. Just stop it. There's all the videos out there of how disgusting her food was, all dried up and filthy on the floor. Timbit's claws and living conditions in, in its last days. I can't remember if Timbit was a boy or a girl. Um, you refer to BBJ as it. All right, I've just done that with Timbit, but I, don't, I can't remember if Timbit was a boy or a girl. Um, that cat, his last days, was trapped in Pete's filthy room with filthy food on the floor. 
um, no fresh air, isolated from the rest of the house. Like you could have, you never used your balcony. You could have let Pete have that room, at least that cat have a little bit of fresh air. Nope. So it's not a one-off incident. It's just not happened recently, has it? This has been going on years. Absolutely years. And to also get her nails taken care of. When I was in Kuwait, I video timed with my roommate who was taking care of my pets for me. And I uh -huh. asked him to show me her nails. At the time, it was a little... Her fur was so matted and disgusting. There's no way you would have been able to even tell unless you were there what pinning her down and actually looking at her paws to even know that stop it and that what well, and and like when she was shaking in pain and pete still didn't take her to the vet the effing cat is fine and then grabs her shakes her oh that must have been lovely for her yeah and you're concerned about her now being in suffering and pain be quiet hard to see but they looked fine to me they looked like decent like they could wait till I get home and she does have long hair on on her feet so it's a little hard so you couldn't see it all no her her claws and her fur on her feet would have been matted in there just the same as the pictures that we see of Timbit mm, lovely and let's not even get to the state of Sam's coat Making out is because of dandruff, so that's why he had to have his fur all shaved off. Yeah, probably did have dandruff because his skin was so bad, because his fur was like damn dreadlocks. See, now BBJ actually, when I anytime I touch her paws, she doesn't like that, and when I especially would try to cut her nails, she she shrieks a lot. So it makes me very nervous to do it. So every every three to six months, should have been going to the vet to have this checked out. You were in Kuwait three months. You were back, best part of a month, before the cat went away. Um, where's the excuse here? I'm not, I'm not seeing it. A year prior, you were told to take her back four to six weeks later to get her claws checked again. You didn't. That was a year ago. That was a year ago. Possibly more. So I prefer to have it done by a veterinarian. So... When I got home from Kuwait, didn't. I made an appointment to see a specific vet in my hometown. The vet I know that uh, has seen her. Be uh, no, you, you, oh, the vet that you uh, would keep making appointments and then not turning up for because you were greened out and stuff. Yeah, that one or the one that you made out that you made appointments for and then didn't bother to turn up. The vet that knew her really well. Well, not really because she was hardly a regular visitor, was she? You were do, you were going to take her there for end of life care. The only reason you rehomed her was because the backlash you were getting off of the internet. Had you done that, you wouldn't have been forgiven. Actually, by doing this, and we now know how bad her health was, you're still not forgiven. So I guess this is why you still think it would have been better to put her down. Pure spite. Before and has her file. So I did it... Um... It was a few weeks, maybe three weeks later, and that when her appointment was. And that was to see if she was able to be rehomed or if I should euthanize her. And to me, that is my choice as a pet owner. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I was villainized by these people over and over and over. And the reason is for their own selfish motivation because they make money off of creating drama and verbally abusing me. This is how they make a living. Uh -huh. This person makes an insane amount of money being an internet. And it's not all about the money for you. You're just insanely jealous of the money. You are. There's no question about it. There, this for you is cash and hatred of someone who pushes your buttons like nobody else does on the internet. That's on you. You can white noise it. That's on you. Nothing to do with the cat. Ugh. Bully, mean girl. That whole community on us. The point is to talk about this animal abuse. So what's being done is false outrage. So because I told... Oh, no, it isn't. No, 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 no. It really, uh, of all the things it is, it's not false outrage. It is disgust at your selfishness. That you could have let a beautiful cat who'd been there with you all those years, when you were crying and bawling over nads, when you were... Uh, all the other nonsense that has come. That cat was there, sat next to you, with her poorly teeth, 
bad ears, horrible nails, terrible coat, untreated arthritis, and goodness knows what else. Ah, uh, just stop it with the false outrage. The only outrage here that's false is yours. This bully, no, she cannot have my pet. Um, she actually so have your pet? did something vile and deceitful. And she actually had one of her family members, her sister-in-law, uh, persistently message me through Instagram DMs, reassuring Sorry? me that she's this lonely woman. She's very ill in bed. She would be able to really take care of BBJ. Just very reassuring. Um, sent me pictures. Yeah, and the cat's been at the vets and is probably a lot more comfortable than she has been in a good few years. I see no problem here. The cat's happy, right? And being cared for. And if it had been a thing that the cat needed to be put down, then that that I guess that would have been the way. Uh, and things like that of her home you know i really wanted to take the time to make sure that she would be suitable and i fell for it and um so this bully of mine oh, so God. i had a vet appointment set up right remember this so uh, whenever i agreed to rehome um my pet on the day she was due to be taken you had ample chance before you went to qa months before you went to qa before you even met salad to take her to the vet you didn't bother you didn't bother. Uh, you had the best part of three three odd weeks when you got back from Q8 to have taken the cat to the vet. In fact, you were telling us in Q8 when Pete was shaking the cat and the cat was clearly ill. That you, The first thing you were going to do when you got back was going to take the cat to the vet. Well, that isn't what you've done, is it? So this is irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. You can't correlate the two. At BBJ to this person who I trusted um, to have, you know, if I had known they had, they had anything to do with this psycho, sorry for lack of a better term, but I can't think of any other word for that kind of behavior. Um, and it's really weird that more people don't see it. But anyway, um, it, it was set. She wanted to pick up the cat right away, uh, said she would take care of all the vet bills. Yeah, because people were really concerned that you were going to take the cat to the vet that day and just have her euthanized. People wanted to give her a second chance at having a comfortable old age. We don't know how old the cat is, 17, 20, anything between 17 and 21. If she's 17, she could well live to 23, 24. Good few years left in her. Mm. And I did actually, um, in my DMs with her, say, um, well, you want to pick up the cat tomorrow? I actually have a vet appointment tomorrow. Um, to bring BBJ to have her checked out and to have her nails trimmed because I did have another look at the nails or tried to as best as I could and mm -hmm. it did look like they were growing into the pads and this did happen once before. Um, uh, okay, so a history of neglect then. The previous year this had happened and she was supposed to take her back to the vet four or six weeks later. I can't remember if it was four or six weeks, but she didn't bother. In BBJ's later years, uh, because I didn't realize how fast they were growing. Like Sam's nails, my younger cat, his nails were fine. They grow at a normal rate. He scratches his scratch goes the furniture, everything, you know. But hers, um, the nails get really coarse and they grow at a very right. rapid uh, rate. So you knew all this, but yet yeah, went to Q8 without taking us. Uh, just for a little checkup. Okay. So you knew all this. <laughs> the false outrage here because of that so they were overgrown and yes i do feel bad for that um oh, does yeah. that make me a horrible animal abuser and mm. no it doesn't because um this one incident or even two incidents of the nail uh, two incidents the, the cat was living in scholar her teeth were bad you were saying that her breath was bad would have been a sign of of bad teeth her ears were infected um so uh, the f the filth on the floor where she was eating old dried up biscuits, like, and I it isn't the, the one incident. Oh no, two incidents. Oh no, lo lots of incidents. So, mm, <laughs> best it makes you incredibly selfish, uh, and extremely neglectful. Um, the cat was in pain. The cat was uncared for. Does it come under that? I don't know. It's very damn close if it doesn't. Nails being an issue. Um, again, I was away in Kuwait for three months. Um, so I didn't really have the scope of the situation uh, until oh. I came back. Yeah. And I 
Even if you think I should have taken her right away instead of a couple of weeks later, a few weeks later, whatever, that still doesn't make me a horrible animal abuser because there are actual people out there who really abuse their animals. And uh, Oh, okay. So, so we're doing this on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. Doesn't really make up for it, though, does it? There, there, there's scales of everything, aren't there? Doesn't make any of it on that scale right, though, does it? Particularly as you had the means to take her to the vet. You surely had the time to take her to the vet. When you was in Kuwait, you had the means and the ability to get a home visit vet round. None of those things were done. The day you got back, you should have been checking her feet. You could have saved her from three weeks worth of pain on her feet. You chose not to, through laziness and selfishness. And all that time, you were cracking up, weren't you? It was hilarious. Oh, yeah, wood chipper, dirt nap. <laughs> Beautiful. Not just that. Um, I've taken really good care of her for 20 years. My pets Liar. love me. I tried my best to give them the best life that they could. So for people to... Well, if that was your best, you should not have any more animals because you failed abysmally at that. Just completely dismiss my entire ownership of these cats for the past years and years when they've been following me on vlogs, taking care of them, being happy, playing, etc., etc. Yeah, until the point that the cats are getting older or your priorities have shifted and you really can't be bothered with the vet bills or the time that it takes. So what's that got to do with anything? Now all of a sudden my cat abuser um, because of the nails. So back to the story. Um, basically. Because of the nails. Because of the nails, the untreated arthritis, the ear infections, the heart murmur, uh, which could have been caused by disruption and her being in general pain, the bad teeth. Uh, the list goes on, doesn't it? So no, not just because of the nails. The filthy floor she was eating off of the god-awful state of the cat litter trays to the point that they were going, that one or the, both of them were going to the bathroom in random places around the house. Cats only do that if their toilet area is putrid. They don't standardly choose to do that. So, yeah, it was just that, was it? I know it's hard to follow. It's just ridiculous to me. Like, I just don't even, can't even believe I'm having to talk about this. Having to rehome your pets is a distress. <laughs> Nobody is making you talk about this. You are talking about this because TikTok have gone in the archives of Foodie um, and found out just what you are. If they didn't know before, then uh, <laughs> that, that's 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 on you, isn't it? You chose to go on this platform. You were giving up YouTube. Yay! Um, fat shaming. Bleh, 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 bleh. Um, you you chose all of that. So you chose to put yourself on TikTok. You've chosen to use Foodie Beauty YouTube just so that you can send the masses to YouTube to search you up. You know when you search up Foodie Beauty on YouTube, your channel doesn't even come up anymore. It's all the other nonsense. Dressing thing enough to do. Like people act like I was happy to do it and just ditch my, my pets for a man. No, this is my soulmate. Thank you very much. And I have a right to make, be happy in my life. Things, circumstances change in life. And um, moving here is something that I want to do for my life. And uh, we're also going to be traveling. So this is for their best. Oh, here we go again. We're going to be traveling. Uh, you, you were laying on the floor eating. Where do you actually think you're going to travel to? In, in reality, interest. I don't believe in prolonging a cat's life if they're go not going to have the quality of life at that age. Oh, well, the quality of life that you were providing. Well, I would say a quality of life has um, gone up in the world of late. Best thing you could have done, really. Bugger off and leave them cats. They've got a chance, haven't they? And they're just going to have to be euthanized. I would don't want to burden someone with that, um, with all the vet oh. bills, etc. But this person insisted I should have maybe had a red flag. So, um, no. the person refused whenever I said, I'm going to take the cat to the vet before you pick her up. And I have the DM here. They refused. And here's why they refused. Because this bully relies on huh. creating false outrage or scenarios um, out of contrived drama to get views. Um, so she 
None of this has got anything to do with the cat neglect. None of it. No one wanted that cat to go to the vet with you because you were taking her there for the end of life dirt nap that you found so hilarious. She's actually exploiting my cat and their and her problems for money and views at this point. It's actually disgusting. And what happened was this bully sent her brother to come pick up my cat. This mm. person dressed up in disguise and hid. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah, so they could get the cat straight to the vet because she was going to pay the bill. Fair dues. Come on. That was just a bit funny. No one tapped on your door. No one harassed you. No one yelled at you in the street, did they? Nobody done that. Behind a snowbank near my home, and she basically stole my cat through deception. Oh. And she'll use the excuse, well, you gave the cat away. There's... Yeah, you did give the cat away. It was either that or she was getting the dirt nap or the wood chipper. Do you remember this? Uh, you're missing chunks out here, foodie really nothing I can do about it so because it's out of my control I leave the rest up to God now that's my new motto that's how I try to live my life okay. do I get emotional and get upset oh, and uh, don't try and pile on the tears this is ridiculous um yeah I do and sometimes I lash out I mean I'm human you know I'm not perfect I'm not an angel <laughs> no shit. but I do have the sincere want to change as a person and be well, that's not working, is it, really? Uh, I mean, it's just not, is it? And that's fine. You be you. You do what you like. You're a grown-up. Do what you like. It's up to you. But this this is ridiculous. Become better, which is more than I can say for a lot of people who just want to keep dragging me down to their level. And some... <laughs> No one can drag you down unless you allow it. No one asks you to go on YouTube and watch all the reaction channels, go in their chats, go put on their comments whilst yours are turned off. None of this has got anything to do with the state of BBJ. This is just you trying to, I don't know, muddy the waters when when you've done that yourself. Like, that, it's a quagmire at this point. I don't know what the best thing to do here. I would just carry on regardless, do your mukbangs, do your lives, do whatever, and white noise the rest of it. You'll still get views, you'll still get money. I mean, not as much as you used to. Um, but you're stirring up drama here by doing this. What's the point? Sometimes it works. I'm not going to lie. So she has the cat. Uh, maybe the next day or a couple of days later, she goes online and reveals her big plan and she she's the oh. biggest hero for saving bbj well, she yeah. go, she really really emphasizes how the cat was screaming when she took her to them the cat always screams anyway anytime i touch her paws to cut her nails even well that's probably because they're grown into a pod we've never heard bbj scream over anything we've heard her whining but that's probably because you know she was hungry uh she was in pain screaming and she wasn't screaming or whining when Pete's was shaking her or she was suffering with arthritis so and tipping her upside down and doing all the other stupid things that he was doing, which you were fine with because BBJ enjoys that. Oh, you're so full of, ugh, so full of rice. <laughs> yes, we will get on to that one, but not this morning because it's coming up six o'clock. I've got to get ready for work when they weren't overgrown and i did explain this in another video before so now she's milking this to the max even though i said i would take the cat to the vet and oh God. have her looked at make sure she's rehomable but no because if i had done that then this bully would not have more content to milk and to try to no you'd have had her put down that that's it and and actually the cat's fine she's been to the vet she's getting the treatment she needs the cat's fine not your problem not your cat ruined my reputation with now with this hashtag of animal abuse so you can hashtag all you want you can cancel me all you want i've been cancelled thousands of times before mm, thousands of times before no you haven't stop being a victim stop being a victim been cancelled thousands of times before if that was the case you'd have had to get off your fat backside and get a job
and you're not going to prevent me from speaking my mind and being here for my fans and my followers and people who enjoy me and understand that I'm not an animal abuser. That's the story. Um, imagine somebody targeting you for oh, years, God. bullying you and body shaming you, coming for your family. What has that got to do with the state of BBJ? What has that got to do with it? Stealing your content every day Nothing to use to it against you. How that would affect your... Uh, stealing your content to use it against you. But if it's your content and there's nothing there to use against you, then there's no problem, surely. And it has nothing to do with the cat. Mental health, if you let it. Oh, stop I refuse it. to let it anymore. And then going through the process, when I was home for a month in Canada, mm -hmm. I had so many things to tie up. I was a financial mess. I was an emotional mess. I deal with... Well, that's only getting worse, isn't it? You can't run from the tax man. You think you have. I don't think you'll... Uh, that won't last. Mental health and eating disorder. Uh, okay, so what are you doing with your mental health? You said you're off all your meds and you're fine. Uh, and your ED? Um, well, that looks like it's going really well. Just, I am a mess. I'm a train wreck. And I realize this is why people watch me, but I'm still a human being. And I loved my pets. And <sighs> I still wake up every day, like... Oh, God, here we go. In a little bit of disbelief that they're not here. So, to have that traumatic... Yeah, rubbish actress. Yeah, the, 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 the Oscar for zero, zero believability goes to this one. Experience. It was traumatic for me to have to do that. Um, oh, yeah, we saw the video. Bye, BBJ. Didn't even go down. The, it got Pete to hand her over in the cat box to a stranger. Yeah, he was at the top of the stairs, too lazy to even walk down the stairs. There was no tears, no nothing. Yeah, bye. Any any one of us in that situation would have been in absolute floods of tears. To know that your elderly <laughs> cat, that you only wanted to do the best for her, whether that was rehoming her, she was fit, or whether to put her down in, in humane euthanasia. She's so gutted that she didn't put the cat down. She's absolutely gutted that BBJ is actually getting the medical care that she, she, she needs. I'm being called a cat killer for humane euthanasia. Well, you would have been. Humane euthanasia? Um, poor Timbit. Really? Poor Timbit? Oh, please. Even though this bully euthanized her two pets. Oh, God. So it's, it's a, hypo a whole different story there. Hypocrisy is just outstanding. And it's just oh. a toxic community. And it's not something I want to address anymore. Uh, well, you should have just ignored it, shouldn't you? And TikTok is not the place for you. Pretty brutal over there, I think. And it's not something I will be on these, this vi uh, video or series of videos. It's just not going to happen. And like I said, cancel me, do what you want, but just leave me alone. And if you can't, that's fine. I cancel me, do what you want, just leave me alone. Well, get off the internet full stop then, and you'll be left alone. There you are, you can live in wedded bliss in Q8, the summer's coming up. Ramadan starts on the, is it the 21st this year? Um, <clears throat> you'll be going to the gym. You'll be living your best life. Salah can look after you. He's got his perf <clears throat> perfume business. What, what, what's your issue? Cancel me. Le just leave me alone. We'll get off the internet then. It's easy. I'll just block and just focus oh, and block, on block. God. Oh, and my newfound journey and my husband and you guys, my followers, um, there's some of you who have been here for me. Oh, stop it with this pity party of fakeness. <laughs> Through the whole thing. I've been on social media for like since 2017 and it's not easy. It's Well, get off of it then. Oh, that's a nice screen grab, isn't it? Beautiful. So cutthroat, but it is. I mean, we haven't even. Oh, oh God, there's one of her with the pickle eating a pickle. My God, the filters. She looks like I don't know what she looks like, but she, I mean, this is heavily filtered, but yeah, that's quite something else. We've got that one as well, um, but there's not time this morning. Let's just keep it to this one. It's rewarding for, <laughs> for people like you guys, you know who you are, and also.
Mm-hmm. It's gotten me through a lot of tough times. You know, the other side of the coin, you know, the other side of the coin is that it's gotten me through a lot of tough times and mm. it's given me an outlet to talk. Yeah, you've, you've trauma dumped on everyone over the years, haven't you? So there's that. About a lot of things. So that I appreciate. Um, as for the BBJ situation, oh, stop talking people about rely it. on verbally abusing me, um, body shaming me, targeting me, creating drama that will get them clicks and views. Even if it's... Uh, uh, what, uh, what did you think was going to happen when you put that video up of you laying down on the floor, dropping food all over the show? You know what you're doing. You're not brand new. Stop it. It's false. There's so many things that are false. Um, yeah, it's like a really crappy, crappy version of the tabloids. If that can even be and possible for me to say crappy version of the tabloids because tabloids are crappy. So anyways, um, if you're here, I hope you listen to my story and I hope you understand. Um, and that's about it. So I plan on doing more content here. I really like TikTok and I think people are just trying to ruin my, my reputation on here. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Enough said. Um, and you make your, you can make your own judgment, but um, I'm not an animal abuser, and I refuse to label myself that, um, and I refuse to listen to any future negativity towards me. Oh, not this again. How many times have we had this? This old chestnut. I'm just going to ignore the negativity whilst drawing as much negativity and spitting out as much negativity as is possible for one person. In regards to that um anywhere so anyway thanks for listening bye guys oh god well that was that was ridiculous wasn't it what a way to start the day what a time to be alive Chantel's on tiktok she won't get any money off tiktok i can't see anyone sponsoring her um she doesn't have the following um and tiktok's for kids isn't it teenagers um so yeah this is gonna the, this is going to wear thin. The hug box won't be on TikTok. They won't get this. Uh, the, the, there's there's a load of weird stuff and woke people on TikTok. I don't get that. I think I'm too old for it. Um, but they definitely won't get this, Chantel. So, yeah, wrong platform. Go back to YouTube. Do what you normally do. Say sorry. Yada, yada, yada. No negativity. Yada, yada, yada. You know, the normal crap that we have goes round and round and round. Anyway, that's me out. Look at that. It's five past six. Right. Let's get ready for work. Have a super day. It's Wednesday. Thank goodness. We're halfway through the week. Going the right side towards the weekend. Right. Have a super day. Look after yourselves and take care. Right. That's it. I'm out. Bye.